So I was taking apart this uh, old CD-ROM because uh, it had some uh, issues with the ejection mechanism and I thought maybe I should uh, try to figure out if I can, if I can, if I can uh, solve the problem or not. And, um, and I'm, I'm pretty sure it has some strip, stripped gears or broken, uh, broken pieces somewhere around this, this uh, mechanism. Uh, that, that could be solved with uh, 3D printing or whatever, I don't know. But um, while I was doing that, I encountered a, a, what I thought is a, is a brilliant piece of engineering which I have never seen before. And I mean, it's probably something commonplace to, to someone who, who knows about these things, but I have never encountered uh, that thing before, before, and I want to share it with you. So while I was uh, disassembling uh, the, the CD-ROM drive, something was rattling inside. So my, my, my first inclination was that uh, there is something broken, something, uh, a, a piece that, that broke off somewhere and is, you know, is, is rattling in, in, the, in, the, in the case somewhere. But uh, I, kept, I kept disassembling the thing and I, I could never find something that falls out of the unit or whatever. And it, it ended up uh, localized on the, on the motor spindle. So if if I can if I shake the motor the motor spindle, uh, maybe the, the the camera microphone will pick it up, right? So I don't know if if, if you can hear it. So there's there's something rattling around in the mo in, in the motor spindle, and I was very curious to see what what's uh, what's going on in here, well, if if there is a piece broken off or whatever, and. Uh, so I was a, a little bit more forceful than I should have, and I think I broke something. So I thought, you know, let's let's go all the way and figure the figure figure this thing out. Figure figure out what's rattling inside here. So if you remove this piece, okay. So this is the magnet, obviously, and uh, there is this uh, this top piece, and the, the the rattle is localized in this top piece. So you can take out this uh, metal ring. Let me see. Yeah. And what I found inside is a very pur purposefully built uh, bearing race with uh, with metal balls, with uh, ball bearings, uh, you know, go going around the the bearing race. And uh, I thought about it for a second, and I thought. This is this is actually this is actually brilliant uh, piece of engineering because if you think about it, what's going on here is obviously um, this is a self-balancing mechanism, right? Because if you have a spindle like this which rotates uh, in a high RPM and uh, there are manufacturing intoler tolerances and uh, it's never going to be extremely precise or maybe. You can make it extremely precise, but it's going to be very uh, costly to manufacture it with uh, with extremely tight tolerances, like the like the hard drive spindles or whatever. So this is another approach. You don't try to make it precise, but instead you have this uh, this race in here with the ball bearings, and when this spindle uh, spins up, the centrifugal forces pull those bearings towards the outside of the spindle, right? And uh, by the nature of, of these uh, centrifugal, centrifugal forces, the, the balls in this race will distribute themselves equally towards all the sides of the spindle. So when this spins up, it actually balances itself perfectly. This is, this is, I, I think this is beautiful. I have never, I have never seen bef this before. I didn't know the, that CD-ROM spindles uh, are manufactured in this way. And... Uh, yeah, I wanted to, to share this with you because uh, maybe most, many people know this, but I didn't, and I thought this is uh, this is a brilliant a brilliant idea for a self-balancing spindle. Anyway, thank you for watching.